I'm Chef Keith with Cooking with Keith. On today's episode, we're going to be doing a linguine alla vongole, one of the classic dishes from southern Italy using clams vongole. Today, we're going to be using little neck clams from the U.S., from Virginia, as we can't really uh, readily get uh, Italian clams. But the little neck clams are a great substitute, and we'll be starting off by preparing our ingredients, our mise en place. It's a simple dish. Uh, Linguini alla vongole in Italy is not done with butter usually, it's not done with dairy, it's not done with cheese. It's all about nice parsley, garlic, it's a little chili, you can put as much or as little as you like. I like it kind of spicy, so we uh, used a spice grinder actually to do some Calabrian chilies, to grind up some Calabrian chilies which are very spicy. And then we also have some cherry tomatoes that we're going to slice. and. Uh, in southern Italy, they'll have a lot of small tomatoes like uh, called datterini or datterini, pomodoro datterini. These are about the closest we could get to them. And so, with uh, fresh at least. And then we'll be using some extra virgin olive oil and some fresh ground pepper. And then lastly, we have our, the star of the dish, the vongole, the clams. So we have them soaking in a little cold water and we're gonna add just a little t pinch of salt just to see if it'll expunge any extra sand. Sometimes there's a little sand in there but normally it's not a problem with little necks that are farmed. So here we're gonna get started. We're gonna chop our garlic. A couple of cloves is great. You just chop the end off the garlic, off that little nub. Give it a little smash, take it out, ready to roll. And we, we'll just use about about two garlic cloves today for this one dish. It's a one, I'm doing a one serving, so 90 grams of dried linguine. And then we have the garlic. We'll put that over here on this plate. We're gonna chop some parsley. You don't need a whole lot, but a good amount is uh, probably a half a cup. Just rough chopped is fine. You can get it a little finer than this, but you don't you don't want huge chunks, but huge pieces of leaf, but finely ground is that's perfect right there. We'll put that in our cazuela there. Clean up the board. And now we'll be cutting our cherry tomatoes in preparation to start the dish. For one person, maybe about a dozen tomatoes, cherry tomatoes chopped in half. We'll just put them on a plate over here. And now we're ready to roll. We'll get our linguine. We'll put it in the boiling water or add a little salt. And we'll get our linguine in. It's 90 grams, which is usually sufficient for a nice pasta size. But now, we'll start the preparation. We've got a hot pan. Get the olive oil in. First thing I'm going to put in is the actual clams. Now we have our clams in the pan. We're going to add a little splash of white wine. I'm just using some good quality, decent quality Pinot Grigio from Italy. And we're going to let that just start for the first few minutes just to get steamed and get very hot and the clams will be close to getting ready to open. We'll check our pasta. It's going fine. A few more minutes, maybe five more minutes. And now that we have our uh, clams in here steaming for the first three minutes and a little white wine and olive oil, we're now going to take the lid off, add our tomatoes. A little salt and garlic. That's about two cloves again. I'm going to stir it around, and I'm going to add a little pinch. This uh, this isn't as traditional, but I like to put a touch of Sicilian wild oregano, and then I'm going to put my Calabrian chili in. 
and I'm going to put just a pinch. It'll make it nice and spicy. And then I'm going to add a little more glug, just a little bit of olive oil in here. And now the magic, a little fresh ground pepper as well. You notice there's no cream, there's no butter, no cheese. This is about the seafood being the star. And at the end, we'll add a lot of parsley, which will bring the freshness and vitality to the dish. I'm gonna turn the heat up just a little bit more. Shake around a little bit just to get everyone happy in there. And now we're just gonna let it go on low heat again. Turn the flame down a little bit more while we wait for the pasta to finish. And now that it's been a few minutes of simmering together with the lid on, we're going to take a look inside. And that's exactly what you wanna see. The clams are open. We're gonna put about half the parsley in now to let it give its flavor in, and then we'll add some fresh parsley at the very end for garnishing. Stir that around again. It's looking lovely. It's waiting for the pasta water. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit more since I have the lid off. And it's looking great. With the starch of the water, we'll use a little bit of this cooking water of the pasta and it'll also bind and make a nice creamy uh, sauce without any cream. I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit because I'm going to reach over and get our pasta out. And now we'll put a little of the pasta water in. And we'll stir it around. I'm going to turn the heat up to high. And now for presentation and plating, we will actually take the clams out Put them on a little plate. And now we'll just simply give the sauce a little taste to make sure everything is mm, delicious. So now we'll turn off our fire and we'll get it into the bowl. Sauce is lovely. We got all the tomatoes in. We're going to plate the clams around. Give this sauce a little bit of a last minute warm up. And we'll pour over. Those lovely flavors from the olive oil and the spices and the garlic. And then lastly, we'll finish with a shower of fresh parsley. Perfect. And now the moment of truth. Mm. Very good. It's got the, you can definitely, definitely taste the uh, Calabrian chili. It's piercing through there, but in a good way. I can take it. It's really, really good. The garlic, the parsley, the Calabrian chili, a touch of oregano, the tomatoes, and the parsley. It's just a wonderful combination. So I would do a nice uh, crisp Italian white with this. A uh, nice gavi or a nice uh, minerally Pinot Grigio would be a lovely combination with this. And there you have it. You can do this at home. Bon appetito.